Hey there, everybody. I'm meteorologist Cassie Nall, and for our Thursday forecast, we're going to continue to see those spotty showers and storms popping up around parts of the Sun Coast and then slowly drifting towards the north and the northeast. That's because as we go throughout the day, we'll continue to see that onshore wind flow developing that should take a lot of the activity inland as we go throughout the day. However, for the southernmost parts of our viewing area, we'll still maintain more of that south to southeasterly wind direction. So the showers and storms may linger for a longer period of time down across parts of Charlotte County. Otherwise, the bottom line, just keep the umbrellas handy just in case throughout the day today. And it's going to be another warm and muggy one out there. Highs forecast again to reach the lower 90s along the beaches. Middle 90s as you head further inland, and all of this will feel more like the upper 90s today, so nothing new. Make sure you stay hydrated if you have any outdoor plans. Now, also not new, the pattern across the country. It's not really changing all that much as we go into our Independence Day holiday weekend. The ridge of high pressure will still be out west, keeping things very hot, with showers and storms developing along that monsoon pattern in the desert southwest. And then for us here in the east, that's where the active pattern will be along the bottom of that jet stream, that trough of low pressure through parts of Tennessee and Ohio valleys. Now for us here in Florida, we're going to continue to see the afternoon style showers and storms, about a 30 to 40 percent chance of rain, highs in the lower to middle 90s across the viewing area. It's summer. This is exactly what we expect to see this time of year, but it may be affecting your plans as we go into tomorrow and into our actual Independence Day holiday. Number one, again, it's going to be hot. So if you have outdoor plans, you got to make sure you stay hydrated by drinking water to help celebrate our Independence Day holiday. Number two, wear sunscreen if you're going to be heading out to the beaches. And of course, number three, always stay aware of what the weather's doing. Have a backup indoor option so when the thunder roars, you can head indoors. Now, we do have a couple of events going on that SNN will be covering as we go through the next couple of days. The first being tomorrow night, the Festival Parade of Boats on Main Street in downtown Sarasota. The parade begins at 6 p.m. It's going to be warm and humid out there. And if you want to beat the heat and stay home, we'll be covering that live beginning at 6 p.m. We'll cover the parade in its entirety tomorrow night. Then on the 4th of July, we'll be celebrating with the Bayfront Fireworks Spectacular from atop Marina Jack. Our coverage will begin at 8.30 p.m. with the fireworks beginning at approximately 9 o'clock. Again, it's going to be very warm and humid that evening with air temperatures in about the middle 80s around that 9 p.m. hour. So again, options to tune in to SNN, and we'll have all your Independence Day celebrations right here on the Suncoast News Network.